hike in the woods ran a little late, and suddenly it's pitch dark. You can't see much, except a pair of round yellow lights. But they have started to move. It's an owl, and it looks angry that you're in its territory. Here's how to survive an owl attack. Owls are hunters, and they carry that title with honor. They prepare to hunt. Their ritual includes stretching and preening, and they clean their feathers and talons before leaving to hunt. Owls are meat-eating creatures. They also have excellent low-light vision, so they can see you, even if you can't spot them, and they have great hearing. There are many owl species, and one of the most dangerous is the great horned owl. They have distinct feather turf. How do owls hunt silently? Why could your headphones make you a target? And how could you go to jail for fighting back? Step one, listen carefully. When owls locate their prey, they attack from the air after perching in a tree and waiting for the right moment. They have specific features that allow them to glide silently through the air. Their feathers have serrated edges like a comb. It helps them reduce the turbulence created as the air rushes over the wings when they fly. Also, their velvety feathers absorb the sounds of turbulence. This makes them great hunters, and it's hard to hear them. But since they don't eat humans, they'll let you know they don't want you there with sounds. They'll try to scare you away with hissing, a cat-like sound, or by clicking their bills. Step two. Don't wear a hat. Some objects that you might put on your head can make owls think that you're prey, including headphones, a flashy hat, or wearing your hair in a ponytail. If your headgear moves like prey, an owl is more likely to attack you. In 2019, a man in British Columbia, Canada, was hiking when an owl stole his cap. The owl took the hat to a tree branch and kept staring at the man. He shook the tree until the owl let the hat go. Then the owl attacked the man until he ran away. Step three, carry an umbrella. If you plan to hike in an area where there are owls, it's best to be prepared. Carry a stick with a piece of fabric or an umbrella. If an attack occurs, place the umbrella over your head. The owl may target that and leave your head alone. Run away from the bird's territory as fast as you can. Step four. Don't mess with their babies. Baby owls leave their nests before they can fly. Sometimes they lie on the ground, so if you see a cute fluffy little ball on the ground, don't go near it. It is not an abandoned owl. The parent is likely watching closely, so it is best to leave the baby alone as owls are very protective of their young. Step five, don't kill them. If you come into contact with an owl, do your best to listen and understand its signs of aggression so you can avoid an attack. But if an attack happens, don't kill the owl, even if you get injured in the attack. They are protected birds, and you can get a hefty fine or spend up to six months in jail, according to the 1981 Wildfire and Countryside Act, which protects owls, their nests, and owl eggs. You followed the steps and survived an owl attack without killing it. Good job. But speaking of birds, could you survive an attack by a bird whose legs are strong enough to kill a lion? Find out here on How to Survive.